In many parts of the world, temperatures drop so low that they become lethal for most creatures. At the same time, we find animals that only live in cold temperatures. This raises questions such as, how do these animals manage to survive the harsh winter cold? The answer is that these animals have some fascinating tricks they use to survive the winter cold. The polar bear is the largest and most famous of all polar animals. A massive animal, its weight can reach up to 700 kilograms in some cases, and its length can be around three meters. Ba, it is known for its white color, which distinguishes it from its brown or black bear relatives. One of the most interesting aspects of this white color is that, upon closer inspection, we find that it is not the most suitable color for cold climates, as white reflects a significant amount of sunlight, meaning it does not absorb the sun and therefore does not absorb the sun and therefore does not absorb it. On the other hand, black is the color that absorbs the most sunlight and as a result is the warmest color. Logically, black should be the most suitable color for living in cold climates. So how can the white polar bear survive in these cold conditions with its white color? But the truth is that the answer to this question is quite astonishing. The polar bear, which appears to be white, actually has black skin. And this is what helps it absorb heat. For the white color is just fur that covers the skin from the outside and does not prevent heat from reaching the inner layers of the skin, with the black skin taking care of the rest of the task. In addition to the heavy fur that provides warmth, there are other important factors that help the polar bear stay warm. Well, the first factor is the diet, which contains very high amounts of fat, as its favorite meal is fatty marine animals. But the second factor is the digestive system, which can absorb about 97 of the fat it consumes. The Arctic fox has adaptations that help it cope with its cold environment even better than the polar bear. Yeah, in fact, the Arctic fox deserves its own study. However, let's briefly discuss five talents that help it survive. First, the Arctic fox, like the Inuit people who build snow houses to resist the cold, builds its home inside the snow by digging tunnels that allow them to overcome the cold weather. The second ability is having a sharp sense of hearing that allows them to distinguish between different types of animals passing near their tunnel. If it is prey, they can kill it, like rodents, for example. The, the Arctic fox emerges from the tunnel immediately to catch prey that is unaware of anything, making food available to the fox many times without any effort. Blah. In addition, the Arctic fox eats anything, whether plants, animals, or small creatures, even the remains of animals left by another animal. But the third factor that helps the fox succeed in the cold environment is the type of fur characterized by its extreme density, not airy like polar bear fur, which helps the fox maintain body warmth. That therefore, Arctic fox fur is considered one of the most expensive types of fur in the world. Okay, the fourth factor is that the fox has a large, thick tail that it uses as an additional cover when needed while a layer of dense fur on its extremities enables it to walk comfortably on ice. For the last factor, which may be surprising to many people, is that the white fur color appears only in winter and cold times, while the fur color changes in the warmer seasons to gray, brown, or a mixture of colors with white. The white color is particularly useful in winter for camouflage purposes. Birds that enjoy swimming, like ducks, have feathers that provide the warmth they need, especially since most birds do not live in icy environments. In addition, feathers are known to provide more warmth than any other type of fur. Also, feathers have a waxy layer that helps drain water and snow. The only problem for this type of bird, like ducks, is that their feet do not have any feathers with the ducks may sometimes suffer from frozen lakes that can cause frostbite injuries. Usually, freezing conditions like frost or frostbite cause the skin, tissue, 
and even muscles to freeze. And if the affected area is not warmed as soon as possible, there is no other solution but amputation. But, but, let's take a look at the duck that continues to stand for hours in frozen water. And the simple reason is that ducks do not have nerves in the foot area and therefore do not feel any pain. Not only that, but not feeling pain does not mean that freezing will not occur. In other words, if we assume we test a certain person and immerse their extremities in frozen water, they will naturally be exposed to frostbite, even if they do not feel pain. The secret lies in the fact that frostbite does not occur on duck feet because of a physiological process called countercurrent or countercurrent, which means that ducks can control the speed of blood flow as it passes through the foot. When the blood reaches the foot area in a duck, it flows quickly in this area so as not to freeze and this process provides the required protection for survival from the cold in the water during swimming. Crocodiles are animals that rely on their surrounding environment for heating. In other words, if the water is cold, crocodiles need to come out into the sun to feel warm. Ah, however, sometimes the lakes and rivers where crocodiles live become so cold that they may freeze. Why, in this case, Crocodiles do something that is against their nature. Essentially, crocodiles have the ability to sense climate changes and the onset of cold before it reaches them. At this point, the crocodiles go down into the water, and when the cold intensifies and the water surface begins to freeze, the crocodile breaks a small part of the ice to expose a part of its head to breathe. When the cold temperature stabilizes and doesn't increase further, the crocodile becomes completely still, without any movement. Oh, what the crocodile is doing now is a physiological process called torpor, which can be translated as a waiting process. This method is used by some animals during cold periods and is similar to other processes such as hibernation. But the important thing is that the torpor process makes the crocodile very inactive during the cold period, doing almost nothing but breathing. And, in fact, even its breathing becomes very slow, as does its heartbeat. This allows the crocodile to store the most energy for heating, leaving the minimum amount of energy for other processes that barely keep it alive. At the same time, it avoids problems that could occur on land since it doesn't have to move constantly, as no one dares approach the crocodile underwater. The torpor process, which makes crocodiles fix their bodies completely away from disturbance, except for the part they breathe through, is suitable for an animal with the strength and size of a crocodile. However, a small creature like a frog has no problem hiding completely. You a, a little bit of fallen leaves on the side of the road can provide it with a suitable shelter. For this reason, the wood frog, which is the only species of frog that lives in cold northern regions, prefers to undergo a physiological process called hibernation. This process makes the frog not need to breathe at all, and its heart also stops beating. But before entering hibernation, the wood frog produces an antifreeze substance in its body to prevent the cold from freezing its internal parts. Ma, the frog remains as it is, alive but like a dead being, until the weather begins to warm up again. Why, at that point, the frog wakes up from its hibernation and begins feeding and mating as if nothing had happened. 